Hey there! Have you ever thought about how ice cream or your favorite food is made? The process behind how all the foods are made is fascinating, especially to us. We're students here at the School of Food Science. I'm Pablo. And I'm Gina. Not many people know what food science really is. It's a creative science where you get to eat your experiment. We use science to make food better. It is a program that includes microbiology, chemistry, physics, engineering, and other disciplines to lead to a variety of careers into the $1 trillion food industry. Here's what a fellow student and one of our alums who works in the industry have to say about the program. Because I came to school right in the beginning of the, the economic downfall, and I decided that it was, I needed a job, but I didn't know what kind of job I wanted to do. But I knew food science had so many opportunities that with one degree I could have a sensory job, a production job, a research job, a safety job. There's a huge demand for food science graduates. The median salaries are around $50,000 starting. Our graduates get great jobs in the food processing industry. There's dairy, confections, beverages, baked goods, and this could be anything from working in terms of product development, the basic ingredients, or you could be a plant manager. We've got a number of our graduates right now that are running milk processing facilities and they're just in their late 20s. So our graduates have almost a 100% placement. Uh, uh, as a matter of fact, some of the very good students, there's a tremendous amount of competition for them. Sound interesting to you? Let us show you around and tell you more. While we're here, we should see the creamery. We will let Corbin tell you more about it. He's a food science student who works here. Hey, I just got off work at the Washington State University Creamery making our world famous Cougar Gold Cheese. Through teaching, research, and extension, the Washington State University Creamery is a great place for food science students to get real-life experience producing ice cream and cheese. In fact, over 20 food science students are employed there. So let's head into the building where we have several of our classes. Corbin was just heading to one of his classes at the U of I, just seven miles away. This is one of the most unique characteristics of our school. We have a joint program between two universities, the University of Idaho and Washington State University. Working at the Wazoo Creamery and attending school at the University of Idaho, I've really come to realize the power that two universities together with the joint program offers its students. I have twice the resources, I have great learning opportunities and experiences between both universities and I have a great time doing it. So while the School of Food Science isn't totally encompassed into this one building, taking you through here will give you a good idea of what we're all about. Come on in. So, as a transfer student, I felt welcome and inspired the first time I came to WSU. The School of Food Science offers several events during the year that allows the students to connect with other students and professors to create a network of support. Thanks to the advisors, all my questions were answered to lead me into a journey of the Food Science program. So come on in to the food science kitchen. This food lab classroom is a central hub. Here you'll take some introductory food science courses as well as sensory and food engineering labs. We have a wide variety of classes taught in this room. The food science program here is multidisciplinary. We take many different areas such as chemistry and biology, physics. We also take areas such as business and marketing as well as psychology and all of these areas are blended together to provide an, a multidisciplinary program. So when you graduate from the School of Food Science with a degree in food science, you have studied many, many different areas and you're able to, to go out and find a great career. I'm looking forward to being in here for a senior level capstone course, Product Development. We make use of all of the 12 kitchens in here to create a food product from the start to finish, combining all the information we have learned in previous courses. A lot of our classes are interactive. We learn through our experiences in food science. Beyond academics, there are several important activities held here that help you connect with other students as well as people in the industry. Food Science Club and Food Product Development Team are two important places for our students to be involved. Um, being a part of Food Science Club as well as Product Development Team Club helped me in team building skills as well as collaboration with other students. Um, for Product Development Club, it's kind of an intro to what I'd like to do as a profession and so getting that experience of going through the process of formulation, um, packaging, processing, and marketing are all a part of food science. The sensory evaluation lab uses human sensory physiology 
rather than scientific instruments to determine the quality of a food product based on texture, flavor, odor, and the overall acceptance. This year we've had sensory panels for everything from beer and wine to fresh fruits, fish fillets, and tater tots. I even conducted my own undergraduate research in this room, creating a gluten-free granola bar high in antioxidants containing grape pomace flour. This experience doing undergraduate research has been the most valuable part of my education. I feel like this opportunity has prepared me for my future career. Hey Gina, let's take a look at the chemistry lab down the hall. Okay. Chemistry, biochemistry, and microbiology courses are an integral part of food science. We have numerous labs and classrooms across both campuses where students can work closely with our faculty members to explore and investigate the underlying scientific principles that they learn in lectures. And here is where they actually have some hands-on experience. So now let's go check out the pilot plant. This is our food processing pilot plant. It is used for teaching and research activities. This is a facility where new processing techniques and manufacturing methods are tested on a small scale. Our well-equipped plant includes both traditional unit operations along with many of the emerging novel technologies. The student team working here is developing a food product for an international competition. Their challenge? Utilize the local ingredient in a developing country to create a food product that is nutritious, safe, and of course delicious. Our studies here, whether it's a bachelor's, a master's, or a PhD in food science, all lead toward the goal of working in the food industry. The resources we gain through our faculty, alumni, and industry contacts provide us with all kinds of job and internship opportunities. That's right. Our students here have unique plans for their future, and here's what a few of them hope to do. Growing up, I had lactose intolerance, so that really led to me being a label reader. I wanted to know if there was milk in every product that I was eating. I wanted to know what the fat content was. I wanted to know what every one of those long chemicals was. With my food science degree, I'd like to work in the industry uh, with nutritional supplements or confections. Uh, both of those deal heavily with milk, and I've really developed a, a great, great passion for working with milk products, working at the Washington State University Creamery. After I graduate, I have an internship with Kraft Foods in Madison, Wisconsin, where I'll be working um, in the R&D department of the Oscar Mayer Division. Uh, after that, I plan to attend graduate school in the fall to get my master's degree in food science. And I know a lot of people that I have classes with, I think almost every single person has an internship that, and everybody who wanted an internship got an internship. Some people go up to Alaska and work in fisheries, some people are going to Michigan to work with Lucrino, some people are going to Caldwell, Idaho down there and some people are working with Simplot and everybody's doing something completely different with completely different food products and everybody's really excited and hopefully with ConAgra I'll have the opportunity this summer to design a product that will be for consumer goods and hopefully I'll be able to go to the store and buy that product and be like I made this. Here. So don't let this be the end of your inquiry to our school. If you have any questions or need more information don't hesitate to call or stop and pay us a visit or go to our website sfs.wsu.edu. Well, thanks for joining us today on our virtual tour of the School of Food Science. We hope you learned something interesting and new about our program. And we hope to see you here.